Hi Capricorn, welcome to your today's love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. And I hope all is well with everyone in Capricorn. Please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. All right, Capricorn, today, for those who like to find out any potential new love for you guys, this is your reading, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me potential new love for Capricorn. Potential new love for Capricorn. There is a delay, Capricorn. A lot of cards are in reverse. Um, I did shuffle your your deck. Okay, so um, when the cards are in reverse, it indicates a delay. I feel like that's because you're delaying it, or it could be somebody from your past delaying it because the Eight of Cups is in reverse. So it's an indication of perhaps you haven't completely moved on yet from your past person, okay? And the Temperance is in reverse. So I feel like Spirit is trying to say that because temperance for me indicates patience, self-care, self-love. I feel like possibly um, when you are ready, there could be somebody new. Um, I do see one very positive card here, which is the Three of Cups. Perhaps you'll be meeting this person, a new potential love at a social gathering, okay? Um, with friends or family. Um, Oh, also, it could be online, that's what I'm sensing. But the Eight of Wands is in reverse, so could indicate a delay in communication. I feel like Capricorn, a lot of people ask, um, when am I going to meet my next love or my, <laughs> my new partner? When am I going to get into a new relationship? I feel like somebody needs to actually, um, you have to take the initiatives to put yourself out there, right? But I feel like there could be a delay right now because perhaps you're still trying to heal from a past connection. And that's a Ten of Swords in reverse as well and the Ace of Swords. Possibly in the past, you could have cut some, like, somebody off or it could go vice versa. So I do see a separation here after finding out some truth or you know, gaining some clarity in regards to somebody or a situation. And this was why, you know, there is there was a separation. But I feel like the separation was very painful. Okay, I feel like it will take you a while to heal and recover. Five of Pentacles is in reverse and the Hierophant is also in reverse. I do sense that it could be you or your past person who may still want to return. I'm still feeling stuck, but perhaps if it's not, you know, stuck in a relationship, maybe emotionally still kind of stuck. And the Hierophant is in reverse as well. Perhaps you could have found out the truth about, you know, something about your past person, maybe either their moral values, you know, are not the same as yours, as in, in they may have broken their promises, okay, they may have done something, okay, um, that was not fair to you. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse could indicate somebody maybe wanting to come out from being left out in the cold. They don't want to feel like they're struggling anymore or that maybe you still miss your past person or could go vice versa. So there is a lot of, uh, I feel like a lot of you, Capricorn, to be honest, like a lot of you are going through a separation right now and still finding it very hard to move on and heal from this connection because the death is uh, from the separation because the death is still in reverse as well. Um, it's in reverse, that means someone is still not accepting that it is over. Perhaps you are still in a relationship where it's kind of hanging in the air or either one of you may not feel that it is over or do not want this to be over. And the King of Swords in reverse here, maybe this is your past person I'm sensing that perhaps could have lied or, you know, I don't really like the King of Swords in reverse or maybe you know, something with communication, either they lied or some problems in communication. But I feel like you could have been dealing with somebody in the past, could have been abusive, okay? Or um, could also be manipulative with the, the, the way they say things through their actions as well. 
um, can be verbally abusive, but the keen swords in reverse could also indicate physical abuse. You know, not not all of you, of course not. That's too <laughs> that's too specific. But Capricorn, I do sense that there is someone new coming in for you, but I feel like either you are delaying it because you're not ready to um, meet this new person or not ready for a new relationship because you still haven't recovered yet from your past person, okay? So Seven of Pentacles is here and also got the Moon. Yeah, let's see. Okay, finally. <laughs> because all of these cards are in reverse and I feel like there's just a delay. I mean, it's good. I mean, you know, um, I just feel like if you're not ready, you're not ready. There's no point of jumping into a new relationship like as quickly, you know, before you healed because a lot of people don't heal properly before, you know, they jump into the next relationship. But the Seven of Pentacles is here is saying that perhaps you need to wait for a while, okay? Um, I feel like also at the same time, Four of Pentacles in reverse indicates where you need to let go first of your past connection. And the moon is already in reverse. I feel like Capricorn Spirit is also saying that you have um, seen things very clearly, okay? You already know the truth um, of whatever that transpired between you and your past person or person right now whom you're struggling with. And with the justice in reverse also is an indication of, yeah, you were not being treated fairly for sure, the Hierophant in reverse and the justice in reverse, or that maybe a past person was non-committal or just not fair to you, um, was not treating you fairly, and with the Page of Cups in reverse as well. An indication, again, of either a, an apology from your past person coming in, or maybe you could be waiting for an apology from your past person, but it's not coming in, or that it it is being delayed for some reason. So there could be a waiting here, Capricorn. I feel like a lot of you could be waiting for somebody from your past to return or to apologize, and because you know, I feel like the death in reverse is somebody feeling like they it's not over yet. They don't want this relationship to be over yet, and wanting to still kind of like revive and resuscitate. But the eight of wands is in reverse, so. Perhaps um, there's no communication between you and your past person, or if there is, I feel like the communication is either very, very cold or, or aggressive. Okay, so but the sun is here, Capricorn. So it does look like um, your potential new love is gonna take a while before he or she arrives. <laughs> there's no well before you go search for them or before they arrive, before the stars would align for you is when you actually completely let go of this past person. It does look like once you do that, once you walk away completely you let go. There's a three of ones here that means you know it's gonna happen very soon if you were to actually completely let go of your past person you might meet this person through perhaps uh, either social media dating app or through friends or family some sort of gathering social gathering engagement party weddings i know it's hard now because of what's going on but you know a small gathering perhaps through friends but also could be on um, like apps, uh, internet and things like that. But we've got the sun here, so at least that's the sun. So that means, yes, there is somebody, could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? Doesn't really matter, it can be any sign. But it does look like you first have to love yourself with the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, be independent, as in, possibly I feel like a lot of you are already very independent, but this could also indicate with the pentacles, maybe you could meet this person at work, okay, as well, through friends, through through work, um, through th traveling as well, with the three of wands, maybe from traveling, um, when you go to a sunny place or sunny country, <laughs> where, you know, look, there's sunflowers here, and that's the sun, and maybe horse riding, for some of you, there's a horse, and there's a child here, um, it could mean that, you know, the sun card actually indicates positivity, happiness, could sometimes indicate a son or children or a child, um, freedom. I feel like once Capricorn, um, you completely release yourself from this past person because your past person, it doesn't look like they're going to make you happy at all, okay? If you're still waiting for them, I feel like Spirit is urging you to 
not wait anymore because some pentacles you're gonna be waiting for a long long time but it looks very positive that there there could be somebody new new love interest someone who could also be somebody like you are very independent somebody whom has got his or her stuff together loves to travel that's what i'm sensing as well loves to uh, maybe <laughs> go for uh, loves the outdoor okay loves the nature loves the outdoor somebody who loves children as well loves to socialize some drinking that's what I'm sensing as well all right Capricorn this is your reading I hope you resonated hope you liked it if you did please hit like share and subscribe currently I am accepting personal reading requests uh, my information is in the description box below nothing else I hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting your videos almost every single day lately take care Capricorn bye